Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, the 17th of August, Tuesday of the week of Pentecost 12. The reading Lewis Ively, E V E L Y, 1910, 1985. What must we do to read the Gospels with faith? It surely isn't enough to believe that everything written there actually happened once. We owe that much respect to any book of profane history by a reputable author. To read the Gospels with faith is to believe that everything in them is actually happening now. That they're a book of revelation, a book of discovery, that far more than a history they're up prophecy. They tell us who we are and what we're doing. They tell us how God lived among men. But God continues to live with us. He's always the same and so are we. What the Gospels relate is still going on today. They show us our life, how God loves us and how we treat him, how we mistreat him too. So we mustn't read them like ancient history, a pious memoir, a sentimental pilgrimage, but like the revelation they are, a revelation of God and of ourselves. We're announced, foreseen, and prophesied in them, and we've only to find the right place the words that concern us and are spoken directly to us. The prayer from Lutheran Worship, 1982. Dear Father in heaven, you revealed to the apostle St. Peter the blessed truth that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Strengthen us in that same faith in our Savior that we too may joyfully confess that there is salvation in no one else, <coughs> excuse me, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.